everyone. Welcome to my kitchen here at Witch Hollow Homesteading. Today I am going to show you how to make chocolate cashew yogurt. Recently, this has been one of our favorite snacks to have at night before bed. I'm going to begin with soaking one and a quarter cups of raw cashews in boiling water. I always like to put a lid on the cashews. That way the heat stays in a little bit better and the cashews will get softer sooner. And I'm gonna soak them for about six to eight hours. After six hours, I'm now going to drain the cashews, but I'm not going to discard the liquid that the cashews are in. And that's because it has some of the flavor and taste of the cashews in it. And why be wasteful? Let's keep that to bake our yogurt. I'm going to need four cups of filtered water anyway, so we might as well use this. I have found with making this recipe a lot that there's an easier way to do this. And what I do is I get my larger measuring pitcher out and I put four cups of boiling water in it and then I measure out the one and a quarter cups of cashews and put them in there to soak so that that way when it's been six hours and I'm ready to make yogurt, I can just dump the entire thing into my blender and not have to be measuring anything out. And I don't have to strain the cashews. It just makes it go a bit faster. So I would highly recommend that. I'm gonna take the liquid discard from the cashews and add enough filtered water to make it equal four cups. I am adding my water to the cashews in the blender. I'm going to put the lid on and begin to slowly grind up the cashews and ever so slightly increasing the speed for, you know, 10, 15 seconds or so, and then put it on medium speed and let it go for about two minutes. After about three minutes, I am going to add three tablespoons of cocoa powder. I like to use dark cocoa powder. And then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of carob powder. You don't have to, you could just sub in another tablespoon of cocoa powder here. I'm gonna put the lid back on and grind it for another two to three minutes. I'm ready to add my cornstarch. And a little trick here that again I've learned from making this multiple times is I could add this cornstarch into the blender when I add my cocoa powder and it'll blend up smoothly and I don't have to worry about trying to whisk it so that we don't get any lumps. You can just put it all in the blender at one time. But here I am adding two tablespoons to the pan and then I'm going to put my cashew milk liquid right in. If you do it the way that I'm doing it here where I'm gonna add the milk to the cornstarch, just make sure that you whisk it right away, otherwise you'll get lumps. Time to add this to the stove, and I'm going to put it on medium-low heat and continually whisk it until it comes to a boil, and you're looking for it to be at 87 degrees Celsius, and the conversion on that is 188 degrees Fahrenheit. And once it reaches that temperature, lower it a little bit, and then whisk it continuously as it thickens for five minutes. As you can see, it's starting to thicken. Once it's been five minutes, I'm gonna turn the heat off and remove the pan from the heat. While it is cooling, what you're gonna to wanna to do is come back every 10 or 15 minutes and just give it a light whisk. Otherwise, you'll get a little bit of a skin that forms on top and it'll keep the heat in. Your goal is to have this cool to 43 degrees Celsius 
or 109 degrees Fahrenheit. It's been about an hour and 20 minutes and the yogurt has cooled to the correct temperature. So now I'm gonna add my yogurt starter, which this is the one I've been using. I love it, it works really well. I'm going to add one packet of my yogurt starter and then I'm gonna add one teaspoon of organic cane sugar. I'm gonna thoroughly mix this around to get it all incorporated, and then I am going to add it to my yogurt maker. And I mentioned this in my other yogurt video, but just in case you haven't seen that one, this yogurt maker is a Lavelli. I'm gonna set the yogurt maker to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and then I'm going to set the time to 17 hours. You can ferment your yogurt up to 24 hours. Just remember the longer you ferment it, the more tart it will be. It's been 17 hours and the yogurt is ready. From here, you could just place your yogurt in the refrigerator. But for me, I like the yogurt a bit thicker So what I like to do is get a mesh strainer, a glass pitcher, and a piece of cheesecloth, and I'm gonna line the metal strainer with the cheesecloth, and I will dump the yogurt right into it, and I will place that in the refrigerator for about six hours, and that will allow any of the excess water and liquid to come off, and now you have a thicker yogurt. When I do this, I just like to make sure that I always put a lid on the top so that the yogurt doesn't get a skin on it. It's been six hours and the yogurt is ready. For us, I'm going to add two tablespoons of organic cane sugar. You could just eat it right like this. We just wanted it a little bit sweeter. I wanted to show you how I get this off the cheesecloth. Sometimes it just flops right off and I don't even need to scrape the cheesecloth. And sometimes I need to. But either way, I will take the cheesecloth then and wash it really well in the sink, let it dry, and then I will put it in the washer. Just remember, if you are adding additional sugar to your yogurt at this step, you're gonna wanna whisk it, let it sit for a minute or so, whisk it again, let it sit for a minute or so, and do this on and off for about five minutes because the sugar won't thoroughly dissolve unless you keep whisking it. Here's a shot of what it looks like after putting it in and whisking it twice. You can see the little specks of sugar. So that's how you know you still need to whisk it a little bit more. Once those specks disappear, you're all good. I'm gonna pour mine into a large mason jar and put a lid on it and place it in the refrigerator. This yogurt will last for two weeks in the refrigerator. Although I'm sure you will probably eat it way faster than that but it will last for up to two weeks. This chocolate yogurt is decadent and delicious. The best part is it's good for your gut and it's healthy. You can eat it as is, or what we like to do is add some fresh raspberries or fresh strawberries to it. And if you want a little bit more of a crunch, you can add some fresh granola. Thank you so much for joining me today at Witch Hollow Homesteading. I hope you found this video helpful and inspiring. 